The fertility struggle can be one of the most stressful things a person goes through in their life. Mirror Fertility has a tool to make it just a little bit easier. It's important to track fertility hormones if you're looking to conceive or avoid conception at this time. I had no idea where to start when Kevin and I decided it was time to start growing our family. Through a lot of research and question asking, I learned that it's incredibly important to track your fertility hormones if you're looking to conceive or likewise if you're looking to avoid conception at this time. That's why it would have been incredibly convenient to have the Mira Plus kit and their confirmed ones in my life when we were trying to first start conceiving. So what makes Mira Fertility different, you're asking? Well, they track both your estrogen levels and your luteinizing hormones or your LH levels, which stimulate ovulation, which is necessary for conception. First up, I'm going to open the Mira Analyzer and show you the different features. Then we'll talk about how these play a big part. So first off, you open up the inside here and you have a really convenient get started with Mira guide. Then you'll see we have the actual Mira analyzer with a really nice soft shell case to keep your very important device protected throughout the duration of its life. When you first power on the Mira analyzer, you're going to get this screen with a QR code. If you scan it, it will take you right to the app download page on your phone. When you first open the app, you'll need to create your account. When you get to this page, this is where you'll scan the QR code on the Mira device to sync your device to your app. Once your Mira analyzer and your app are configured, you'll see instructions on how to start testing. Now that I've configured my Mira Fertility app, my Mira analyzer will say that it is ready to test. So I took out one of the test wands, as you can see here, it's got a little max line, so let's not immerse it beyond that. This is just water to show you as a demonstration, but we'll hold it in here for 10 seconds. Once your test wand has been submerged in the urine for 10 seconds, take the blue cap off of that end, cover the end that was submerged in the cup. You will then take this open end here now and insert it into the Mira analyzer. Once your test wand is fully inserted into the mirror analyzer, it's important to keep it level and still. The test can take anywhere from 10 to 16 minutes. Once it's done, it will automatically send the data to your Mira app. Their app data also offers you a larger fertility window at six days with clear insights. So no matter if you're trying to conceive or avoid pregnancy at this time, Mira Fertility is able to find your fully fertile windows or your infertile windows. So naturally, my results came back as though I dipped my confirm one in water, but all the same, they registered to the Mirror Fertility app. So next time I were to go to look in there, I'd be able to see what exactly I found on this day and be able to track patterns in my cycle and my fertility. So now to answer a few important questions. Where can I get my own Mirror Fertility Plus starter kit? And can I save some money? And I have the answer for both of those right now. All these details will be in the video description. But with code Ashley, you can save 10% on your Mira Fertility Plus Starter Kit or your Mira Fertility Plus Starter Kit and Confirm Bundle, which I recommend getting because you're going to need more than just a few of those wands because you're going to be testing several times. It's just how it goes with fertility. Patience is key and having the right tools is also a huge helper. Be sure to visit the Mira Fertility website in my video description and feel free to let me know with any questions or comments. If I can't answer them, I'll be sure someone with Mira Fertility gets right back to you. Thanks for watching!